within hours of the announcement that Bolton would be replacing General H.R. McMaster in the West Wing, the Council on American-Islamic Relations was out with a fact sheet on his background, including his cozy relationship with anti-Muslim hate groups. It singled out in particular his relationship with Pamela Geller, the author and anti-Muslim activist described by the Southern Poverty Law Center as probably the best-known and the most unhinged anti-Muslim ideologue in the United States, known for her efforts to post anti-Muslim ads on New York City buses and for speculating, in a blog post that's no longer online, that Barack Obama was actually the illegitimate love child of Malcolm X. Geller is also a longtime fan of John Bolton. Endorsing him for president in 2011 as the antidote to the sick, debilitated state of the country which Obama has inflicted upon us. And Bolton is a fan of hers. He wrote the foreword to her 2010 book, with Robert Spencer, director of the anti-Muslim group Jihad Watch, the post-American presidency, the Obama administration's war on America. They wrote, Barack Hussein Obama, Geller took pains to use Obama's middle name whenever possible, hid the fact that he was a hardline, doctrinaire socialist and statist, who believed in central planning and government control of the economy as fervently as Stalin, or Mao or Kim Jong-Illinois ever did.